Welcome to the new Eastern Plaza and National Tennis Centre at Melbourne and Olympic Park. Delivered by the Victorian Government, these exciting new tennis facilities boast 21 purpose-built indoor and outdoor courts, including eight clay courts, delivering Tennis Australia's latest weapon, the chase for a champion. There's two key factors to it. One, when you're developing a young player, for them to spend the required amount of hours on the court, play is the best surf. It's much better for their body. You don't get stress fractures of backs and bad knees and all of those issues that you can when you're playing the hours that are needed on a hard court. So that's, that's crucial. The second part about play in terms of the tactical development is that you get to learn defence and offence. So you, you have to learn the patience of being able to get a ball back during a rally and then when you get the right ball, you have to be able to hit a winner. The imported Italian texture, an integral component of the first stage of the state government's $366 million Melbourne Park redevelopment. A realisation of decades of discussion. They're quality courts, we've done it the right way. Uh, we didn't rush in and do it before we are ready and, and uh, these courts have the ability to teach kids their craft better than any other surface. But then having the real European clay, the clay that, they, that the players play on in France and Spain and, and, and primarily in Europe is very important for our future and for our development. So the innovation here is fantastic and having the same amount of courts across the country, and particularly at the National Training Centres, is, is critically important for our future. A new functional open public space by the Yarra, the Eastern Plaza, can be used 52 weeks of the year. An impressive urban landscape, working in sympathy with other great designs including a new bridge named after our first Olympic champion, Edwin Flagg, which provides a safe link between Amy Park, Eastern Plaza and the MCG. I guess part of the overlay that's happening at the moment is what I'm calling a landscape overlay, and it's taking those natural pathways from Flinders Street Station through Birrarung Ma, um, across to this precinct here and really extending all the way through to Richmond Station. The National Tennis Centre boasts the world's first elevated International Tennis Federation standard court for a Grand Slam venue and sits above a 1,000 vehicle car park. An ingenious design solution using high tension cables embedded in the building slab was devised to minimise vibration so that the playing experience was indistinguishable from that of traditional on-ground courts. A cleverly designed glass encased hub for tennis professionals and public alike incorporating elite gym and player recovery facilities. Well I'm a failed tennis player and I know that you need to have excellent light. South light in the Antipodean circumstances is where the least sun comes from so it's not in the player's eyes. And you'll notice in the building the, the raised uh, eyebrows as we call them uh, lifted above the roof and relating to each tennis court. Key partners have been challenged by the non-stop activity of the commanding and demanding sports and entertainment precinct. Forced to dovetail pile drivers with pedestrians, fencing with fans, schedules with school trips. But they have aced the project, creating what is a world-class facility for sports goers. Well, we're very excited about this. Of course, the, the redevelopment of Melbourne Park is our biggest project at the moment, and this is really a significant milestone in that project. To be able to open this Eastern Plaza, the National Tennis Centre, a year ahead of the original uh, schedule uh, and under budget is, uh, is a really significant achievement. Pride emanating from everyone involved in putting together another piece of our civic and sporting jigsaw. It's one of those jobs that you can drive past or attend to even, you know, we'll all, we all uh, come to this area to, to go watch sporting events and concerts and it's one that you'll, you'll always point to with your family and say, you know, our team built this or we were part of the team that built that. 